so our family started here in Napa um, over 30 years ago when we originally came uh, with our folks as children uh, looking for olive oil up here in St. Helena. And our parents bought uh, a place on Pritchard Hill, a small vineyard where we didn't have a house or anything like that, but we built a small deck. And uh, we would go out there and we would uh, put up tents and we'd camp there for weekends. And uh, it was just a phenomenal place where kids could run around and get dirty and play in the vineyards and just have a lot of fun. We moved down to Rutherford uh, from Pritchard Hill in 1983. Our parents purchased our first 20 acre parcel. Yeah, we started making wine in 2002 really as a way to become better growers. And this is just a fantastic spot to be if you're going to be producing Cabernet Sauvignon. One of the things that you know we're so focused on here is the details. And, and I think to be into the details, you have to have control over the process. And so you know, whether it's farming our own vineyards, um, bringing all the fruit into our own winery or, or to our olive mill, ultimately, that quality is so much better because we are able to touch every part of the process in a way we wouldn't be able to otherwise. Owning our own vineyards and, and operating our own uh, vineyard company means that we really do have complete control of what happens out here in the vineyard. Our ultimate goal in everything we do here is phenomenal quality. And of course, uh, if you think about a kitchen, that really starts with the ingredients. We are able to control everything that we do from start to finish. So the ingredients that we bring into the winery, the fruit that we bring into the winery, has been grown by us. It's been under our control the entire time. So being able to control uh, where all of your ingredients come from really leads to being able to make the best wine possible. So the end goal of everything we do out here in the vineyard is to pass on the very best fruit possible to our winemakers, to give them everything they need to make phenomenal wines, and that all starts right here in the vineyard. It's my goal with the wines that you're tasting to capture the essence of the estate in any given vintage that we're producing it. The property is situated between the Napa River and Con Creek, and over the millennia, Con Creek has sort of moved back and forth and left gravel deposits. The cab is planted on gravelly sections of the estate, and the Sauvignon Blanc is planted on the more heavy soils. The goal for me for Sauvignon Blanc is to transfer the fruit directly from the vineyard right into the taster's glass. 100% stainless steel, and there is zero ML, so really you're getting you know just pure expression of our estate fruit. The goal for the Napa Valley wine is to create a um, great introductory, approachable, easy drinking wine that has the signature round pond flavors and expressiveness. For me, the estate cab really is an embodiment of the personality of the estate in the vintage in which it's produced. Another passion at Round Pond is our garden and uh, the food. You know, we're one of only two of all of Mills in the Napa Valley, and we wanted to share that with people who come to the property so we could get to know them, have that relationship develop between, between us. And so we wanted to create sort of a uniquely um, comfortable and relaxed setting where you could come, taste the wines, relax with your friends, you know, bringing them into our family and having them experience, you know, what it is to sort of live like a local here in Napa Valley. We want to invite you to come visit us here at Round Pond and we look forward to seeing you out here on the deck. Cheers. Cheers.